Yes, hello and welcome to my channel again. You're back with Nadia Tansy Pettit. I don't know why I always say that, but I should just say Nadia. But how are you all? Hope you're okay and hope you're well. As I said on my last video, I'm gonna do a Primark haul and also a super drug one. I'm gonna do my super drug one stroke makeup tutorial now. So I'm gonna do that one with you now and show you what I got when I went to Superdrug. I've already done my foundation, just so you know, with the Lasting Perfection Collection foundation, the one that I used last time in my video. So I've primed, moisturized, put that on, and used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's a bit rubbed off there. It's pretty much empty, this one. What I've done is I've placed that under my eyes here but I've not blended it out yet because what I've done is I've taken it up the sides. Can you see that line there? And up the sides here. So when we do our eyeshadow and that, I can blend it out afterwards. So yeah, I've got that one already. Um, yeah, so I went to Superdrug yesterday, got my tour receipt here, and just to let you know that everything I bought came to £37.99. So if I just go through the bits that I bought, I actually bought myself a hand cream which is this one um strengthens nails and moisturizes the hands bought myself that that wasn't very expensive at all um what else did i get okay i've got the collection loose powder which i'm going to use to set my foundation and everything later on i bought that along with the extreme 24 hour felt tip liner in black those two things came to over five pounds, which then entitled me to a free, a three Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. So I might use that onto my eyeshadow today, I'm not sure yet. So I got that. I bought my favourite all-time foundation, Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. This has got to be my number one go-to foundation. Just love it, love it so much. Love the way it looks on your skin, makes it look really healthy and radiant. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I got the Bourjois of that. And also some blush, Bourjois Paris Le Duo blush. I bought that one. And with those two items, it came to over 12 pounds, which entitled me to another freebie. Yes, and I got another one, which was this. Really, really happy about this one. Create effortless Parisian chick look. Um, on the back there, it's, you get a highlighter and a lipstick, which is good. I've got a few of those ones now. The Rouge, Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And yeah, the highlighters, I've not tried them yet, so I'll be using that, obviously, after I've done the makeup look. So I got those for free. And then I'm really excited about this one. I got the Revolution Pro Palette. Just uh, love the colours here. Look at the colours. Look at those colours, guys. They're beautiful. I cannot wait to try those. Stunning. Some are sort of glittery and some are matte. Can't wait to use those for today's look. And what else? What else do I get? I think that's everything, guys. So that is what I bought. That was in my birthday money, to be honest with you. Um, Came to $37.99 as I said, and yeah, that's everything. So let's begin with a makeup, which you wanna watch. Oh, and just to let you know this top, got it from Primark. God, my boobs look huge in it. I think it's the angle of the um, my mobile phone camera that I'm using. I don't have one of these professional cameras. But yeah, it's like a type of tight-necked, nice blue colour top. I still got my pyjamas on, but looks like that and long sleeved I absolutely love it I just paid three pound for that it was in sales three pound quite thin material and I really like that so that's what I'm wearing today so then let's begin the tutorial so I'm gonna start as I said I've done my foundation and everything we're gonna do delve into this palette here I don't know what colors to use yet so we'll get a brush I think what I'm going to do is use my blending brush first of all and start off with a very, very pale colour, the palest colour in the pan, which is this one here. I'm going to start off with that one. Wow. Yeah, you get a lot of... Blow it a bit. And I'm going to look in my mirror where the camera is resting on in my bathroom 
here in my bathroom. I'm just going to sweep that pale colour all over the lid. All over the lid as my first colour. There we go, like that. And then do the same on the other side. Like that. It's my first time I'm doing a eye look with you guys. <laughs> so, you do get a bit of fallout from the pan, that's the only thing. But the colours are beautiful. So now I'm going to go in with, I'm going to use one of these type of, I don't know what you call them, flat type of brush. Well, it's not a brush, it's just like a spongy bit on the end and it's flat. So I'm going to use that and we're going to take, what colour should I go with? I don't even know what I'm going to do, I'm just going with it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with, okay, we're gonna go with this color here, this orangey, rusty orange color first of all. So I'm gonna swipe that on there and then put that on the end. Oh wow, look at the pigment on that. That is beautiful and I'm gonna bring it up like up a bit like that. Can you see what I've done there? And then do a little bit more. Tend to take it to the outer corner. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side because obviously we need to match them up. It's going to look stupid. How are you all spending your Sunday anyway? Husband is obviously still in Banbury with the girlies and he'll be bringing them back this evening so I've still got the whole day to do what I want to do which I'm really excited about making the most of this because obviously I get a chance to do a bit of filming which I love to do I'm going to have to get a better camera one day though maybe a Christmas present for this year so I'm literally just doing it on my mobile phone <laughs> but hey as long as you can all hear me and see me that's all that matters right this color is beautiful so it's looking like that so as long as you've got it in the corners like that we can all blend out afterwards beautiful so we've got that color in the corners and then on the other side, I'm going to take the other side and we're going to go in with a different colour now. I think we're going to go with, oh wow, yeah. This colour here. They're not named, but it's the third along, that one there. Oh yeah, it's like it's got like glitter bits in this one. That is beautiful. Can you see that? Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, you do get a lot of fallout with this palette. But sadly... I'm unable to buy any of the really expensive palettes that some of these um, YouTubers use. Now I'm going to put this on the other side of where we've just put the other shadows. So we're going to do it here. Any fallout we get, we'll just sweep, swipe it away later. And we're going to bring it along the crease line. Can you see what I'm doing now? All the way across the crease line, like that. And then we're going to do the same again the other side. Yeah, look, can you see the pan? It's get, you're getting a lot of fallout from it. But as long as the pigmented colour is there, you know, it's showing up, I'm happy. Bring it all the way to the, along the crease line again. <sighs> yeah, it's raining here in Wales. What a surprise, eh? Is it raining everywhere else? Where you are, let me know when we're going to get a summer, eh? Hopefully, because of the awful winter we had, we'll get a better summer this year. Let's hope, eh? Right, so we've done that, and then we're going to take a blending brush. So we're going to use, I'm going to use my one from Unique, actually. I used to work for Unique, a company called Unique. And this is the... Cream shadow brush, 
but that doesn't matter because we're just going to use that to blend out now. So we're going to blend in the crease line and then on the outer edges like that, like a wiper blade motion like this, okay? Wow, the colour on this is amazing. Again on the other side, blend it out. I think this sort of look I'm doing is something you'd probably wear on a night out, going out for a meal somewhere, or, you know, clubbing, or something like that. You want to sort of blend it a bit higher as well, so you get that definition. See like that? Blend a bit more. It's all about the blending with eyeshadow. Blend, blend, blend. Blend like crazy. And then I'm going to use a little bit, with the same brush, I'm going to take a bit of this one here, four along in that one there. Because it's a lot lighter, I'm going to place that in the centre of the eye, like in the centre corner of the eye here, there, and on the other side. Like that. There we go. Yeah, you do get some fallout. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bourgeois and the free little freebie I got from Superdrug. It's got a highlighter in there. And I think I'm going to use the highlighter on my um, brow line just below the eyebrows. Oh, it comes in some tissue paper. They've packaged it really well. And there we go, there's the highlighter and the lipstick, which we'll use. We'll use that on this look, actually, that we're doing now. Put that over there. And so we're going to open up the highlight. I love the smell of these bourgeois ones. They're so, so good. And then we're going to take, I've got another little brush here. We're going to take this tiny brush and get a bit of the highlight on. And we're going to place that on the higher points of the eye here, just for some highlight. Just to highlight the brow area, right at the very top. Blend it in, blend, blend, blend. That is beautiful actually, it's a really nice highlight. Again on this side. Like so, and then get the other brush again. Wipe away any of the fall out there we go how does that look guys is that looking good do you like that and then um, get my beauty blender I'm gonna now bounce the beauty blender underneath where I placed the um, fit me Maybelline fit me concealer see how that you get that line, just stops you getting any of the product from the eyeshadow under the eye area, and then again on the other side. Like that, see? And just bounce that around. God, I really do wish I had a professional camera because all I'm doing is looking in the mirror to do this. I don't know how it's going to come out when I upload it onto YouTube because bear in mind, all my videos that I've made so far, I'm not editing any of them. They've not been edited. I'm just filming them and seeing how it turns out, really. <laughs> and one day, if I can get one of those cameras... That'd be amazing because then I can use it. Um, sorry, I'm just going over here a minute. I can use it to um, do some editing as well on that, you know. So I'm going to get some of the Collection Sheer Loose Powder. I'm going to try some of this out. I've never tried this before. Well, it comes with a little 
spongy bit. I don't know if I'll use that though. I might just use um, my own brush. It's got a plasticky thing on there. Okay, just trying to open that out. God, it's quite tight in there. Ah, here we go. Ta da! See, so it comes with one of them. And I'll put that over there. I might just use this, first of all, just to place it where I want it. Over the face, like that. Under the eyes. Here. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's translucent, this one as well, so. Mm, it smells quite nice. Finely milled powder. And then, I've got a brush, a big brush here, studio brush it's called, it's quite large and I'm going to just brush that away. It's just going to set it. Like so. Quite pleased with that. That doesn't look too bad, does it? I'm going to put that back in there. Where's the plastic bit? This is so unprofessional. I'm like, where's this? Where's that? Sorry, guys. I'm not like some of the vloggers out there that have got it all lined up in a row and they know exactly what they're doing. I'm keeping it real though, keeping it real. This is the real thing, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to try some of the blush now. We will do some more on the eyes in a minute. I'm just going to finish off the rest of this look. Oh, hold on, I've forgotten something. Contour, I'm going to use my bronze and sculpt contour kit by MUA. I like this one. Got the contour side there, and I'm gonna just use what well, I know this is a round brush for like foundation, but I need to get a different brush really. I use the side of it like that, just put some on the edge, and then I just go under my cheekbones like this, and then blend out. Take it like that, and then blend to get that. Contour under your cheekbones like that, see? Blend it out. Like that. I don't tend to do too much on the forehead because I'm, I've got a fringe now again, so that's all hidden. And then maybe just a little bit under here. Under the neck area. That just makes the face look a bit slimmer under there and then we're going to go in with a blush now so the bourgeois the one I told you about I just love the smell of it god it smells gorgeous mmm right, I'm going to use my own brush the studio one <laughs> blow it and smile and then just put it onto the apples of the cheeks and just above where we've contoured and then on the other side it's not a very very dark blush but it's quite a light colour you can see it a little bit there this gives you a bit of a nice rosy cheek so we've done that one and then we'll go back in with a highlight. I'm going to use the same little brush I used on my eyes. And we're just going to highlight the tops of the cheeks now. Here. Just here. Wow, that's a nice highlight. 
Actually, I don't know about this brush. I think we'll go in with the brush it comes with, which is this one. We'll use a bit of that and then do it right up. Oh, that's better. Can you see that? That glow on this side. And then what I like to do is also put it a little bit on the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. Uh -huh. God, they smell so good. <sighs> okay, so that's that done. Now, eyebrow, not eyebrow, eyelash curler. Here's the eyelash curler. Gonna curl the lashes. And then we just do that, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that, and then the other side. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Do like a bouncing action just to open the eyes out a bit, like that. Go back in that side. There we go. And I'm going to use my Bourjois Volume Glamour Ultra Black Mascara. Which is this one, I quite like this one. Now I saw a tip on one of the YouTube beauty bloggers that she takes it out and pushes the mascara to the side like this. So all the product is on this side of your brush. And then you just put it on the tips of your lashes. Just the tips. Apparently this lengthens them more. So you do that. Oh, I think I've done that bit wrong. Try and start again. On your tips. Like that. And then you go back in in a minute with a second layer. I'll do the same on the other side. There we go, like that. And then we'll go back in in a minute. I'm just going to do the bottom ones. Like so. The other side. I need a bit of music on in the background, don't I? while I'm doing these bits. These are the bits you need more concentration for. There we go. And then we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna do the same again. And we're gonna do the top lashes again. And then from bottom to the roots. And wiggle it. That's what I tend to do, so I'll wiggle it as I'm going through. And that tends to separate the lashes a bit more. Like so. Yeah, I'm not one of these people that wear the um, false eyelashes like some of the bloggers do. Um, purely because I find them really difficult to get on. I always struggle with them. I don't know if any of you struggle with putting on fake lashes. I wish I could do it, but, and it's time consuming, like, I've got two lovely, beautiful little girls, you know, a one and a half year old and a four year old, and I wouldn't have time to do that every day. Maybe as a treat on a night out or something, but not every day. There we go, see? So the mascara's on. I'm very happy with that. And then I'm going to use some of this freebie we got. Oh, I need to open it still. I didn't even open it. I'll open that now. And then we're going to use a bit of this on the top of... On top of the eyeshadow. Use it like an eyeliner. I'm going to put it right on the top. 
of my lashes. Give it a try, see if it's any good. Bringing it out to the side a bit as well. So I've just brought it out to the side a little bit more as well, okay? And on the other side. Like so. Done. That's pretty. I quite like that. Okay, the last bit is the lips. So we're going to use, oh, I love this lipstick. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this one when I went through all the products I got. I got this as well, the L'Oreal Paris lipstick. I treated myself to one of these because I love this lipstick. I've never had this colour before, but I've had their makeup lipstick before, and I find it so, such good quality. Um, how much was it? I think it was £8. Pound. Was it £8? Pound? Just checking now. Um, L'Oreal Paris. Actually, no, I think it was less than that. Six ninety nine. Um, but it's a really good quality. This one is in the colour one hundred and four, colour rich matte. It's a matte lipstick. Strike a rose. It's called Strike a Rose. I love all the sort of pinks and the sort of orangey coral colours and plummy colours but yeah that's the colour lipstick that one is beautiful and I'm going to place that now on my lips wow gorgeous gorgeous colour don't you just Love makeup. Beautiful, I love it. Now, I don't always use lip liner around my lips. I find that, especially when you've got a new lipstick with a point, you can use that to guide you. There we go. Love it. That's beautiful, gorgeous color. Really, really like that. So, that is the finished look. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think? Take the hairband out. Just go and grab my paddle brush to do my hair, because it's sticking up. I'm gonna have to blow dry my um, fringe, because it's gone all funny. Any of you find that, if you have a fringe, you have bangs, as the Americans call them. Um, and you put it up like that, like I just did. They go all funny. So you need like a round brush to curl it back under. I think the only way I'm gonna be able to do that is with a um, hair dryer. <laughs> or heated tongs. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do that in a minute because that just looks ridiculous. Good luck. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll go and do that. And then I'm gonna go and fill my Primark call in a bit. And then I'll upload that on this channel. But yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you like it.